and I saw strange people just walking. And I said, what is going on? And they said, the governor is coming. What do you say? Welcome. He's a Christian. He has worshipped in other churches. I've had the opportunity to preach to him in the service. I've had the opportunity to pray for him. Welcome. And um, when they now come into the church, they may not remember that he's a single of no. So we must respect him with that office. So I'm just saying so. The reason why is that I know that if the governor tells you he's coming to your house, you say he should not come. I know. I know. Is that not true? Yes. Yeah. You tell him that, please take your car and go back. Get out. Yeah. And when he comes to your house, your younger brother that doesn't like him will now be singing. Would you do Calabar? Would you? I I will tell you brother, sing some more, sing some more. I'm sure what you tell your younger brother is that you may not agree with him. You know, but he's here. Treat him the right respect. So I'm just giving, and I've explained that to you because we'll have a lot of politicians come and go, and it will happen more. You know, you, you're going to have presidents of other countries, not even Nigeria. Nigeria is certain. You know, presidents of other countries, they will, once they come and see the president, they will say, we also have to see something else because we didn't just come to see the president. There was a spiritual reason why we came. So we must be used to things like this. And when they come, just with respect, oh, good afternoon, shake love, and that's it. First today, I was preaching in the second service.